Speaker of the House of Representatives, Tajuddin Abbas, has emphasized the negative impact of biodiversity loss on ecosystem resilience. He made the emphasis during a public hearing on the Endangered Species Conservation and Protection Bill organized by the House Committees on Treaties, Protocols and Environment, focused on protection, Nigeria's biodiversity. Let's take a report on that. Biodiversity is crucial for maintaining the balance and health of ecosystems, and its laws can have profound implications for both ecological and human systems. Speaker Tajuddin Abbas, who was represented by Deputy Minority Leader Ali Issa, highlighted how ecological imbalance can threaten food security and human health, underscoring the country's commitment to preserving its rich biodiversity. He noted that protecting the environment opens opportunities for economic benefits and emphasized that the bill seeks to establish a legal framework to combat illegal wildlife trade, impose penalties, promote sustainable management and support community-based conservation efforts. The loss of biodiversity weakens our ecosystem resilience, making it more sustainable to environmental disturbances. The disruption of ecological balance can lead to decline of other species, impacting food security and potentially, potentially triggering unforeseen consequences for human health. Chairman of the Committee on Treaties Protocols, Rabiu Yusuf, stressed that the bill is crucial to safeguarding Nigeria's biodiversity and fulfilling international commitments to wildlife conservation. We are witnessing an alarming decline in biodiversity, driven by habitat destruction, deforestation, illegal wildlife trade, poaching, and climate change. Our natural resources were once abundant and now vulnerable to over exploitation and the mismanagement, placing several species on the brink of extinction. As we stand at this critical juncture, the need for a strong legislative framework to conserve and manage our wildlife has never been more present than now. Meanwhile, the Ministry of Environment, represented by the Director of Forestry, Moses Ama, called for an in-depth species inventory before proceeding with the bill, urging a comprehensive assessment of the nation's wildlife. And while this public hearing presents and invaluable opportunities to proper situate the bill within our context, with our national context, would respectfully draw the attention of the honourable member to the need to conduct an index species inventory for the proper categorization of all species into schedules based on scientific data. Various stakeholders advocated for stricter penalties for violators.